Alright, first stop of the day. Let's go check it out. Alright, let's see. They do have this nano metal face DC pack. $12.99. It's not bad at all. I was gonna get it, but yeah, I realized I'd rather just put that money towards something else. We got two of these. Picked this up a while back. Kind of surprised those are still pretty abundant at these Rosses. This Mario set here. The Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from Bandai. Witcher figures here. Oh, they got everybody. Not everybody, but Geralt, Jaskier, and Siri. $4.99 each. Very good price, but not the best looking figures. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it seems like it's been a while since I've seen something like very appealing here at Ross. You got Modoc from Quantum Mania. A lot of Funko Pops. It's an Avatar set. Which we've seen it. We got these shuttles. Which we've seen plenty of times. That's about it, my dudes. Yeah. Let's go head over to Target and see what they have. Check it out. They got some new TMNT stuff. They got Leatherhead, Rat King. Yeah, these do look pretty cool. New Mondo, Gecko. Let's see, who are they missing? Looks like they don't have the uh, the wrestling TMNT four pack. Oh, Metellos. King Spawn. I think this is an older figure. Robin. Yeah, we've seen all these before. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, the only thing new I see in this area is this Roman Reigns Team and T mashup. He's supposed to be a shredder, a shredder mashup. That looks actually really cool. Comes with cloth goods. Several interchangeable hands. Yeah, not very nice. I don't know who else comes in this wave. Yeah, it looks like these characters, but they're not here, unfortunately. They were taken. Alright. Yeah, let's move on. Check it out. They do have Dress 2 Orden. One of the most legendary and coolest fictional characters out there. I'm definitely getting this one. Splacer Beast, Owl Bear. Yeah, these all have been taken at the other Ross, which is kind of surprising. I didn't think they'd be popular. Indiana Jones. Yeah, same with the Indiana Jones figures. Didn't see any at the other one. Some Black Series. What about this dude? From Star Wars Adventures. Jackson. Check it out, guys. A restock on these? Because these weren't on clearance at one point. That is so weird to see. Might have been returns. We got these plushies. I think a restock on these as well. We got a lone carnage. Still got these. Batman Forever, Batman and Robin figures, which is really odd. Got the new Joes. It looks like these uh, Kryptonite Doomsdays are starting to show up at Targets. Forty bucks. Other than that, let's see. I think this is new. 
Ultimate Transforming Batmobile. Whoa. So it turns into that? Okay. Interesting. I guess some kids would be into that. Maybe some adults too. And that same old Transformers. Some are on sale. The Gen Studio Deluxe versions. Alright. Let's move on. Oh, we got one of those turtle mashups. No, two of them. We got Kofi Kingston as Michelangelo and Xavier Woods as Donatello. Cool. Yeah, we saw Shredder yesterday. The Shredder mashup. And that one looks awesome. Yeah. Actually, I think I saw a, a picture of these two wrestlers. Or online. Yeah, Todd McFarlane two pack. Oh, this is kind of new, I think. A T T E. Let's check the back. Yes, it looks like that. That's a pretty cool looking vehicle. Based off episode two, Attack of the Clones. Oh, what did someone hide here? Oh, a bat. Astro Batman armor. Alright, oh, they had the Bane 2 pack here. So finally seeing this. Cyber Superman. Oh, I was hoping for the chase. I do have the regular one. Batman. Yeah, this set is awesome. I already have it. So I actually saw a restock on this yesterday. So it looks like, yeah, they are restocking these. Just weird because they went on clearance at one point. Oh, they have Superior Spider-Man. Nice. I passed them. Yeah, passed on them the first time because I thought he was gonna be uh, pretty abundant. Oh, looks like something was ripped. Auto. Oh, they have Ground Keeper Willy. Nice. Could grab him as well. I didn't pick them up the first time I saw these figures. General Zod, thirteen ninety nine. That's my first time seeing them. I'm assuming it's an older figure. Oh, what's this set? Oh, first time seeing this. Looks like a six pack with a lot of the uh, Phantom Menace figures. Is this new as well? Sith infiltrate. Right? Pretty sure we've seen that bongo submarine. And these are some peg warmers. Looks like they also have this Spider-Man, inspired by the Amazing Spider-Man issue 38. 50 bucks. It says it's a six scale, but no. One six posed figure. Huh. Yeah, that is not a six scale for sure. Maybe apply to a different McFarlane statue. But yeah, it's, looks good. But yeah, I'm passing on this line. Alright. Got a lone homer. That's about it, dudes. Yeah, let's move on. Alright, I'm at a Best Buy. Looks like. Yeah, they still have these giant Leos, and they have the Halloween. Let's see, plus in total member price one hundred nine ninety nine. See, I want this one, but kind of wanna wait. Yeah, Friday Thirteenth, and we got Joker here. We found the statues. Yeah, so we just saw this at a. Uh, Target, so yeah, this is a six scale one. Okay, yeah, these are 30 bucks, these smaller ones, which are 12th, I think 112 scale, right? Legs for days, yeah. Yeah, looks good. I really like this Captain America one, 
50 bucks. Very cool. Alright, looks like somebody ripped this box open recently. And this wave was here. That includes Penguin, Boomerang, and a Starfire. We got Baxter and Kirby. Nothing new here. They do have another Robin. Penguin. And we do have Starfire. First time seeing her in the wild, so. Very nice. Yeah, so whoever op opened that probably got the uh, the Platinum, Starfire, and Penguin. But honestly, I like the regular versions more. Look better in my opinion. Same with Boomerang. Um, other than that, a couple Mikeys here. Several Punk Turtle sets. They got the Casey Jones set as well. Yeah, a lot of the same old stuff. Mummy Mike. Yeah. Alright, let's move on. Looks like they got in Karai, a shredder. We saw these two the other day. They got this four pack here, which is 30 bucks. And they got this wrestling four pack for turtles, 150 which is the usual retail price. And they have some. Metellos. Who is that? Fire. Interesting. And they have Slash. Which is a beefy fellow. Looks good. It looks really nice. Oh man, that's tempting. I already have a Slash, but this is a different version. And then we got the Vacation Bebop and Rocksteady 2 pack, which is probably 60 bucks, I'm assuming. Yeah, they must have just stocked today. Of that, let's see. King Spawn. Seen these pops before. But yeah, that's very nice to see. Man, these are so tempting. Think about it on this one. Oh, these look great too. The paint ash looks crisp. Man. But it's like, dang, do I need more Bebop and Rocksteady? <laughs> Definitely passing on this four pack. Yeah, doesn't really attract me. And they have uh, yeah, a punk rock four pack back there. You see one? 30 bucks for this. Interesting. Alright, looks like they still have this Chun Li, Player 2 Chun Li, and Fei Long. They've been here for quite a while. And we got Rebirth Batman. And these been here for quite a while as well. And then we got three of the Talking Krusty dolls, which is always tempting. lovable and hateful at the same time. Interesting. <laughs> we got the two pack here. MTV, Peanuts, Transformers. Oh, these are new. I believe. 40th anniversary. This Optimus Prime. Megatron. Who's this? Funko Fusion. Scare. Scarecrow. Wow, that's, that's a new type of packaging. Yeah, I like all the colors, that's pretty cool. And they do have the Joker Mobile. Hello, I am looking for a Mr. Ron, first name Mo. Mo Ron? Oh, poor Ron, it's you, you little puke. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello, is Mike there? Last name, Rutch. Hold on, I'll check. Mike Rutch! My crotch! Hey, has anybody seen my crotch lately? That's pretty cool. Let's see, that's 40 bucks for the prank phone. 
lot of cool stuff. Mm, other than that, yeah, I think we've seen all these. on sale two dollars off and that's what the necklace stuff yeah same old wait I thought that was new for a sec all right check it out looks like this Ollie's had a restock and they brought in some new toys uh, let's see I don't remember seeing this last time makes Mayfield more act Got um, Bodhi, so that's nice to see. I actually just rewatched this movie recently. Freaking, definitely my favorite Star Wars movie, no doubt. And we got Omega. Look at all these three and three quarters in here. So plenty of them. We got Bays. Doesn't look like they have any new Marvel Legends. Yeah. Same over here, they got the shark. I do you see anything else new? I will show y'all. Alright, let's see. They got this fella here, Echo. Plenty of Echoes. Yeah, I guess he was the most unpopular one out of the way. Mega. They have all these. These are all $9.99, by the way. Yeah, we've seen these before. Yeah. Uh, still have yet to see Luther Raw. Uh, Alright, check it out. They got two platinum boomer boomerangs. Yeah, he's not too popular. I do have the platinum penguin. I think this is my second time. Oh, they had the Platinum S Starfire as well. First time seeing this in person. Yeah, I definitely like the regular version. I think these are... Yeah. These are freaking... Uh, oh, two Platinums. What the hell? <laughs> and another... So they had two cases, I guess, that came in. Wait, that's weird. Yeah, all freaking Platinums. Interesting. Yeah. Don't want these though. Yeah, is that supposed to be like the classic suit or something? Yeah, I definitely like the regular version for all of these. Alright, let's move on. This is a regular penguin. Yes. Yeah, uh, Necklace section. One of them. Oh, they. I've finally seen Belly Bomb. This goofy looking dude. This reminds me of the uh, other character from a uh, 90s cartoon. What was it? Um, hey, what am I forgetting? Real Monsters. That's right. I used to love that show. That's right. Is that a big bird variant? <laughs> Hmm. Slash. There's a mess here. Got Leonardo. Yeah, that's about it. Do have a carnage. It's cool to see, but yeah. I'm okay with the previous version. Got a Metello. Yeah, it's pretty dry here. Let's move on. You already wrestlers. We do have this Lucha Lowrider. <laughs> that is 12 scale. 112 scale. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they do have, yeah, some more new TMNT stuff. They got the Trice Saraton Gladiator. This looks pretty sweet. I'm going to pass the uh, Foot Elite Assassin. I'm kind of really surprised they make these red and black variants. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a popular demand for them. On that, 
Baby Sinclair has finally made it here. Ninja Patrol. Yeah, these are new to this target at least. I've seen these, yeah, I've seen these at Best Buy. Oh, look. This is new. They got the full pack. Black and white versions of these. That's pretty cool. Let's better look at them. I definitely prefer the colored versions. That's cool that they came out with those for collectors who may want them. All right, I'm still out in the cut. Adding all these. Uh, looks like they do have a Thor two pack here. Oh look, they have the uh, Marvel's Black Knight and Marvel Cersei. Anything else hiding back there? We love a Hawkeye. Oh, it's all Black Knight and Cersei's two packs. Okay. And I got a couple of these uh, super adaptoid. Oh, it's a good amount of them. Look at all these Black Series, man. It's crazy. Even got the other one, my local one. Just so much. I mean, man, it just shows how much Hasbro over overproduced. Yeah, we've seen all these, so let's move on. Check it out, dudes. They had. Oh, baby. Yes. Oh, they got Vic uh, Hugo Strange. Heck yes. I was looking for this one. Dude, that's awesome that McFarlane is distributing new McFarlane toys at Walmarts again. Seems like it's been a while. Well, at least with the Walmarts nearby me, you see Retro, Batman from the classic TV series, Bullseye, Batman. Max Mercury, which we saw yesterday. That's yeah, so what he is now. <laughs> so many platinums. Yeah, I've been coming to this Walmart like almost every day. Here's another platinum. Jeez. So you got five platinums here. What the freak, dude? <laughs> yeah, it's a classic series version. Yeah, I'm honestly like, I love this platinum version. I don't know if there's a regular version of Hugo. Let's see. Anything else that we're missing? Another platinum of the Batman. Man, that's awesome. Thing is, they don't have Batman Beyond. No. You know, let's see. What's here? Another Batman. These are from the older waves. Oh, no way. There's the... Okay. The guy that works here told me he's going to help me out. Oh, and it's the platinum version, dude. Batman Beyond. That is what's up, man. My man. We had a cool talk. He's a fellow 90s kid. Dude, he helped me out, dude. That is awesome, dude. Oh. <laughs> dude, how many platinums do we have here? Six Platinums, like what the freak, dude? That is crazy. I guess it's like a normal thing nowadays. I mean, should we even be surprised that we see the, this many Platinums these days? Jeez, that's nutty. A lot of Vampire Shazams. Yeah, this is awesome, man. Holy cow. It's overwhelming. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick most of these up. I'm not really interested. Bullseye Batman. That is cool. It's really yeah, there's something about those platinum stickers. It's just satisfying to to find. I'm sure y'all a lot of y'all know the feeling. But man. It's really stoked for this one. And Hugo. Man, so happy. Yeah. All right, man, I'm a bit overwhelmed, so. All 
All right, the Star Wars front, they have Osha and May. And they also have Padawan Jackie Lon. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Yeah, it's unfortunate what happens here. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. That looks really, that's a, it's an okay face gold. This is awesome, yeah. Like these uh, come with more accessories, so it's a bit more expensive. They're four inch figures. Dark Maul, and all Dark Mauls. Plutonian Raider, I'm not sure if that's new. Let's see, yeah, we got Lana's. 1288. Yeah, Darth Maul is 20 bucks. They come with about the same amount of stuff, but this one is 1288. Of course, of course, uh, Darth Maul is more popular, so that's probably why. Yeah, they're coming out with a lot of these. Interesting. It's Moff Gideon. I never knew he wore this suit. Interesting. 784 for him. I think it only comes with it's that weapon there. Other than that, let's see. Same old wrestlers. He's new. Adventures Force, Rexobot, Cyber Mech. Oh, let's see. Got these turtles. Oh, these are new too. High School Raphael. It's Turbo Cami. Yeah. Ten bucks. I think that's about it. Looks like this is new too, Wednesday. Uh, Animated thing. So it moves. Okay. It's got a bit of weight to it. Other than that, yeah, nothing else new. So let's move on. Check it out, guys. Spawn Mega Figures. It's $24.99. No. I don't know if it applies to this two pack. We'll scan it. That'd be nice. I'll definitely cop it. They still got the Platinums here. Starfire, Boomerang. Two Starfires. A penguin back there, too. $4.99 already. That's strange. I wonder if it applies to this just this week or I mean it's not clearance so I guess yeah it's gonna continue to go down in price but for $24.99 for this two-pack definitely a great deal. Alright so yeah if you're looking for this on clearance yeah check your local targets just in case. Especially if you want feet picks. <laughs> Hey, what's going on fellow collectors? Welcome back to my humble abode. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. You know, it seems like there's been a lot of new toys out there, so that's always great to see. Although, I feel like there's just way too many Platinums. I mean, what the heck, Todd? Oh, I mean, they're satisfying to find. Don't don't get me wrong, but I feel like, you know, it's just, it'd be more satisfying if they... Well, I don't know. Seeing all those Platinums at Walmart was really satisfying. But I don't know. It's just getting to a point, I think, you know, as a community, I feel like it's just, you know, people are going to get more tempted just because the stickers, you know. And, yeah, I get tempted as well. But, I mean, out of those that I saw at Walmart, I only grabbed two. Um, but, yeah, it's just getting a bit too crazy with the Platinums, in my opinion. You know, it's just... Uh, I don't know. It's a marketing strat, for sure, uh, for the most part, and um, it's working, I'm sure. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so let's go and get to the haul. Um, we got Dark Side here, which I already have taken out of the box, as you can see. And I got this from GameStop online, uh, GameStop.com, and yeah, fantastic looking Dark Side figure. It's nice and chunky. Look at the, it's got some wear on the 
stomach area, as you can see, which they didn't have to add. And the skin of dark side looks very discernible compared to the costume, which looks great. And the face sculpt looks freaking amazing. Comes with another one as well, but I like this one, so. You know, the articulation on a lot of these McFarlane figures are not the greatest, especially the legs, but I mean, they look freaking awesome. Man, McFarlane toys have, has been killing it, in my opinion. Anyways, on to the next. All right, from Ollie's, I finally picked up and found the Dristu Orden figure. This is the second one from the Hasbro line, and got it for $9.99. Love the artwork on this. And Dristu Orden, yeah, he is my favorite fictional character of all time. Just got a really cool uh, background story. And he's an aw awesome character overall. Alright, moving on. Let's see, from Walmart, we found a whole bunch of Platinums, as you saw. And, you know, man, there's just too many Platinums these days. They don't feel like chases. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanted this figure. Hugo Strange as Batman. Although, I wonder how the regular version is going to look like. You know, it, even if there... I mean, we don't even know if there's going to be a regular version. Well, maybe some people do. I haven't heard of any news of it. But, um, so... I'm going to keep this on card and keep this in box. And I may return it depending on how the regular version looks like. Because... I feel like this is a marketing strat, you know, they bring out this version with the sticker, the platinum sticker, so people are more appealed and tempted to buy it, and then they come out with the regular version, and, you know, for the most part, we want the regular or default version of characters, so we, we shall see, but, I mean, the face sculpt looks amazing, and, yeah, it reminds me of the Arkham Batman games. It was a pain in the butt. It's one of the uh, levels with him. Yeah, it was a pain in the butt to play him. Anyways, uh, we also got Batman Beyond based off the animated series, the platinum version. <laughs> so yeah, gotta wonder how the regular version is going to look like because this is like the default version, right? Yeah, it looks great. Well, I guess it may come with wings, possibly. Yeah, and you know people are going to be more attracted to that. So, Either way, very happy to have found this and got an assist from uh, how, an employee there. You know, I talked to him for the last like, couple of days because I've been going there almost every day to find, hoping to find this. And he said if he gets it, you know, he's going to hide it from me. So, And he came through and yeah. Looks freaking awesome. So very appreciative for this. Uh, he's also a fellow collector, so he knew how I felt. You know how it is. Kind of like competing on finding these new figures against resellers and other uh, collectors, of course. But, yeah, there's a lot of uh, people who are reselling, which I, can't, I don't blame, you know. I've resold stuff before. Um, but some do it as their, like, main job, so... This is what they do almost every day. Go out to Walmart, Targets, and such. Anyways, moving along. All right, from Target, we found Penguin. And finally, found Starfire. Which is very nice because she's very difficult to find. And, yeah, we saw the Platinum versions. And, yeah, they just don't look as appealing, in my opinion. You know, the sticker is the only thing that's appealing to them, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, these look freaking great. I mean, the face sculpt on Penguin looks awesome. Look at the nose. Yeah, they had little small details that they didn't have to. But it looks great. And then we have Starfire. Love that artwork there. Looks awesome. Very awesome face sculpt as well. And yeah, they need more female characters from this line. Um, let's see. I do need. I still need a Wonder Woman, but I mean the last release. Uh, I think there's a one that released recently for maybe pre-order. 
but I haven't pre-ordered. I think it's sold out. But the previous one, I mean, a lot of the Wonder Woman figures, they sell out so quickly, and you just rarely see them in the wild. So hopefully we get an updated one. It'll be nice, one that we can get a hold of. But, yeah, this looks awesome. All right, also from Target, we found Groundskeeper Willie. It's my second time spotting him, and I didn't grab him the first time around. I grabbed all three of the other ones from this wave. But, yeah, I was spending too much money that week, so I had to chill. But, yeah, glad to have found him again. Looks great. Look at all the little details. I mean, for what, 12 bucks? This is such an awesome line. Love it. Can't wait for more characters. And then let's see. Also from Target. We, for the second time, once again, or maybe third, found Superior Spider-Man. Does got some damage on the back or somewhere. Yeah, some here. Uh, I thought there was more somewhere, but... Yeah, I mean, this is such a... Huge improvement from the previous version. And I thought I had the older version, but I don't. I was looking um, all over for it, and yeah, didn't find it. So that's why I didn't grab it the first time. And I mean, I, I really like how the eyes came out. Look at the little, little graphic details that they put on there. Very, very cool. And it's got the uh, butterfly joints, which is always a plus, and el the emblem looks freaking awesome. They did such a good job with it. All right. Also from Target, we found the... Well, this is like everywhere right now, it seems like. I think a lot of people are finding it. But this is the Todd McFarlane and Spawn 2-pack. And it's on clearance at a lot of places um, for $24.99. So I had to grab it. It may, It's probably going to get lower, but... I think that's a fair price still. And it comes with feet. Feet picks. <laughs> this, oh man. I, I want, yeah, I need an interview or hear an interview with Todd McFarlane on why he added feet. <laughs> that's so odd. Maybe, maybe it was his wife's idea or his own. <laughs> Probably his own. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not sure which version of Spawn this is. I mean, it kind of looks, I guess, a classic version. I'm so familiar with the, um, I don't even know, you know, the, the version that you see most of the time in comic books. Um, but this looks like more of a classic look. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you know. And then, of course, we got Toddy here. You know, this is from his company. So of course, he had to make the face sculpt look really good. And it does. Yeah, such a good job. The lightness is totally there. He's got some kind of press pass or something. Which is cool. Comes with fisted hands, some open hands. Comes with this notebook with a drawing of the spawn and a microphone. So, very cool set. All right, from GameStop.com. I had these on pre-order and they finally came in. And these are based off the Batman Forever movie which I freaking enjoyed immensely when I was younger. Um, it's kind of cheesy now, uh, watching it as an adult, but I mean, for nostalgic reasons, um, I'll always have a, a, a special love for this movie. Um, yeah, I think it's really interesting how, you know, watching a cer certain movies as a kid opposed to being a lot older, you know, makes a huge difference. Um, but anyways, Let's take a closer look. There's the Riddler. Looks good. Not the best face sculpt, but yeah, not too shabby. I think compared to any other actors, you can tell that it is Jim Carrey. Here's Two Face, played by Tommy Lee Jones. Great actor. Suit looks awesome, very nicely detailed. Here's the card. And here's Robin, played by Chris O'Donnell. The suit looks awesome. Comes with a cloth cape, which is always a plus. And then we got Batman, played by Val Kilmer. I feel like the, um, you know, the six-pack that came with all the Batman, different types of Batmans. 
was a better likeness of Val Kilmer. I could be wrong, but got the eyes pretty good, but the mouth, yeah, it doesn't look like uh doesn't look like Val Kilmer. And then suit looks great. Not a big fan of the the build a figure from this wave. It was, yeah, not expected. I think many people were disappointed, but I'm just glad they came out with figures of these characters from the movie. Love it. All right, well, that was the haul. Um, I do want to talk about McFarlane Toys again. I mean, huge kudos to Todd McFarlane. I mean, he is delivering. He wants to uh, please us collectors, you know, even with feet pics. And uh, <laughs> I'm just messing, of course. But, I mean, look at these figures. They just pop. I mean, they just look so freaking good on the shelves. And he just keeps on improving. And on another note, you know, look at the McFarlane uh, Bane uh, two-pack. You know, it's re still readily available on Amazon and other retailers. You know, he knew there was going to be a high demand for it, so he's delivering. And that's really awesome to see. Uh, but, yeah, let me know in the comments what do y'all think. Has McFarlane Toys been one of your favorite lines to collect this year? It definitely has for me, you know, like... The price point is fair in my opinion and especially the display value it's very high in the scale in my opinion because the colors are very vibrant and although they don't have the best articulation they look really freaking awesome on the freaking shelves anyways that does it guys thanks a whole heap for watching hope y'all are doing well hope y'all are finding what you want in the wild or online or whatnot and i'll catch y'all next time all right ranger out Peace.